Yo, what's up? It's DNA for sure, also known as Laura Homeboy, and this video is I don't even know what I'm gonna call it yet, but in essence, it is what you need to do um if you want a girlfriend. This is not how to get a girlfriend, cause like you guys know, like I constantly tell you, I'm not fucking I'm not I'm not good with women. I'm a weirdo. I say whatever the fuck I want to say or don't say anything at all. I'm not a conformist. I don't go out on the stroll for pussy like everybody else does. But I got a question from one of the homies and you asked me how to get a girlfriend. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is what needs to be done what is essential for you to do before you go out on the hunt and find a girlfriend Brrr. there's so much i want to say before i start this video you need to know that that you want a girlfriend i should have wrote that down because a lot of dudes don't know that they don't want a girlfriend until weeks before they fucking break up with their fucking third girlfriend of the year. Like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just not relationship material. I'm just going to find, I'm just going to make some really good friends that really enjoy my company that just like a lot of sex with me specifically, you know? But having a girlfriend is like not, it's not like on fucking TV. It's not like in the movies where... You know, well, I do wear my girlfriend's pants sometimes. But it's not like that. Like her basketball shorts. I don't walk around in, like, skinny jeans and shit. Basketball shorts and fucking cargo pants that, like, are baggy and shit. Whatever the fuck. Anyway. <laughs> um, it's not, like, super fucking wonderful all the time. It's not like a lot of people portray it to be. It's got to like having a job. Everybody wants a fucking job until they get a job and they realize that they can't smoke cigarettes every fucking 20 minutes and get drunk and fucking wake up and have to catch the bus and be all uh, when you go. Anyway, the first tip that I have, I have my notes, so I'm going to be looking down. First tip that I have before you go looking for a girlfriend or before you want to make this girl your girlfriend or whatever the fuck, you need to make sure that you know yourself. Because you know what girls do? Girls, they, they get to know you, obviously. They're going to do things to you and, and poke you and push your buttons and turn your gears in, in certain ways to get you to react to certain things. They're gonna ask you questions. They're gonna try to make you mad to see how you react. They're gonna fucking do certain things. They're gonna test you constantly. If they constantly test you, you probably shouldn't be with that crazy ass bitch. But they're, at the beginning, they're going to test you, bro. They're going to see, okay, will this nigga hit a bitch? Is he a rapist? Is he safe around children? Is he scared? Is he a, will he defend my honor if somebody does this shit to us at the movies? They're going to fucking, they're going to get to know you. You, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to have to hide anything from a girl because it's like lying. They have to constantly make sure. Like, let's say, this happened to me. Let's say that the girl today, she's going to test you on whether or not you're a violent person. See me? I'm not a violent person. But I am an Aries. I'm a human fucking being. We all have violent tendencies. And that day, my girl was just trying to push my buttons, and I knew what she was doing, and I lost it. Now, I never hit a woman in my adult life. 
or my teenage life, probably. No, I haven't. I should have a bunch of times, but I haven't. But that day, she made me so angry that I felt the need to bang on my desk that I had in my room. I was like, you are not going to fucking do this shit to me, bitch. And it was it was loud. I had, you know, a metal on it. So all this shit was like jumping on the desk and shit. And she was like, oh, okay. You the type of nigga that'd hit a bitch. I'm like, if I was the type of nigga that'd hit a bitch, you would be hit. Because you're annoying the shit out of me right now. Or, you know, you need to know that um, if if a pretty girl is nice to you, are you going to fucking end up spending all your money on this chick? You need to you need to know yourself enough to defend yourself against these tests and any challenges that may present themselves during this relationship. Um which brings me to my next point. You need to get you need to know women, bro. Because a lot of dudes recognize this shit, but they don't they can't put a name to a face when it comes to these fucking tendencies. You need to know that women are gonna test you. Like dudes don't I don't test females. I don't test people to see if they're going to be rapists or hit me and shit. Like, that's a female thing. I don't do that. I don't expect any other people to do that. I don't know women that well. I don't. I don't. All the females that I grew up around and my spending all that time with my mom and shit, I don't know shit about women, bro. I know shit that I read in books. I tend to stay to myself, and you guys know that, which is strange that you asked me this question. <clears throat> but you got to know that you can't criticize certain women. You got to know femininity is what you need to know. You need to know what to recognize in certain things. You need to know manipulation tactics, because women are very manipulative. You need to know women. Next, you need to you need to know what it is exactly that you want, and this is kind of deep. Now, me when I was looking for a girlfriend, I wasn't actively looking for a girlfriend, but <clears throat> I was thinking more of my wife. I was twenty one. I was thinking more of a wife to look. This is what I want. You know, when I get my shit together, this, this, and this. And I was praying at the time. I was like, look, God, I gotta, I, I'm got. i starting to get my shit together. I'm saving money so I can get my apartment. I was staying with my mom at the time in Atlanta. I'm doing this. I stopped drinking. I stopped doing this. They're doing this. I'm so much better of a person. I just want you to give me an Arab chick that's mixed with some kind of Hispanic and that has some black down there in the line somewhere. And you know what happened like fucking a month later? I met this chick that was half Arab and half Puerto Rican. And that was like the worst day of my fucking life up to this point. Because that bitch, I, I fucking wish I never met her. I wish I never met her. But <laughs> the importance of this is so that it's important because you need to know exactly what you are looking for. You need to activate certain certain parts of your brain and your soul, even. If you take what I just said, this doesn't work for everybody, but if you take what I just said and you apply it, whether you believe in God or not, you ask the universe, you ask fucking this, you try to get your karma right so you can attract this woman, you need to know what you're looking for, just like when you look for a fucking job. If you only have experience in warehouse work, you know, you know that you like warehouse work, why would you go apply for McDonald's? You know, you need to know what you want, her body type, what ethnicity she needs to be. You need to know what personality traits that, she, uh, that you want her to have. You need to know what she feels about you. You need to know if you want this chick to fucking have a car. Every little detail. Write that down. Body, personality type, 
lifestyle, you know, her, if she has a car, a job, education, apartment, all of that. And um, what she likes about you, what she does not do, she does not smoke, she does not drink, she does not have any addictions, she's mentally healthy, and miscellaneous attributes. So that. Next, you need to have confidence. I'm not even going to speak on that. That's so important. You need to know that you deserve a 10 and you don't need to settle and that no girl is out of your league. You need to know that. You need to program that into your fucking mind. Very important. Next, you need to know where to go. You know what you like. You know what you want your girl to like. If you want a girl that is uh, a drinker, Go to the bar and go get a girl. If you want an athletic girl, go to the gym. If you want a fucking scholarly girl, go to the local library. You know, easy. Um, you need to know how to approach. And you need to approach. You don't have to walk up to females and, you know, put the Mac on them and shit like that. I don't fucking do that shit. I've, I'm slowly fucking doing it a little bit more. But I don't do that. It's not my thing. I don't chase it. I let it come to me. And that's why all my situations with these women are fucked up. Which brings me to my next point. Girls who approach. If you are just one of those dudes who is just going to put the sign up. And if you have certain... If you have certain characteristics, let's just put it like that, women will walk up to you. So, you need to be able to not only weed out what should be accepted into your kingdom, you need to be able to, you need to know why women are doing this and what kind of women they might be. I'm not saying that a woman is low value because she walks up to men and she's aggressive in her, um, in her attraction and her relationships, but it does take a certain kind of woman to do that, and that's for you to study on your own partner, because I don't have that much time left, and this is the most important part, you need to have an attractive lifestyle, it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter, the, the most important thing is that you have your shit together, or you look like you have your shit together, or you're on the way to having your shit together, or you're fucking saving money for your retirement. You need to have an attractive lifestyle. You need to be the party that every girl wants to fucking come to that she wishes she was invited to. Because you know what? When you get a girlfriend, all the bitches want to be on your dick and that shit's so goddamn annoying. Because they know they can sense that, look, this dude's content in his lifestyle. Whether he lives wherever the fuck he lives, something about him says that he feels good and he's good with his situation and I want to feel good about my situation, so I'm going to go join him and we're going to do this. And she's going to look you in your eye and you're going to be like, I have a girlfriend with your eye. Or look away and keep doing what you're doing on your phone. But you need to have an attractive lifestyle. What does that mean? You need to have your shit together. You need to, have, be, the per you need to be a party. You need to be the fun. Even if you are not a party person. I'm an attractive lifestyle. There's really no more that I can say about that. But that is the most, besides being confident, that is the most important thing that you need to know. Do you want to be around somebody who smells like shit, doesn't do shit, blah, 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 blah? Put yourself in the mind of that female and the girl that you want. So that's it. It's DNA, Lord DNA for sure. Lord homeboy. That's it. Good luck, bro. Peace.